This place looks like a shipping container home on steroids. 850 square feet of living space, two bedrooms, two bathrooms. It's not a shipping container home, it's way cooler. Let's go check it out. Today we are back in Hawking Hills at Hillside Amble at their last property, their third one, the Wren. This one is also the smallest one at 850 square feet of living space. Perfect for couples or just a couple friends because there are two bedrooms here and two baths. And at only 850 square feet, you'd think that's a little small, but the interior does feel very spacious. When we pull up onto the property, it's at the very end of a private road. Nobody's going to be driving past this property. You can't see any of the neighbors. There's none even that close by. Surrounded by greenery and trees. This cabin is tucked along the tree line for some beautiful shade and to be immersed in the nature. You walk down the path. There's a picnic table out here. And then we enter into the front patio space of the Wren. With the slant roof, it extends out pretty far. So there's a lot of outdoor covered patio space here. And a lot of seating, a lot of things to check out. Underneath the patio, we have some really nice outdoor furniture here. This L-shaped couch, that's all right in front of these windows. Front door is right here in the middle, you can see. Continuing past that, we have the hot tub space, some swinging chairs, and then a small outdoor space right off one of the bedrooms. There's a couple chairs right here. And as well on the other side, there's a couple chairs here and another door. This is off the other bedroom. So the bedrooms are on opposite side of the cabins and they have uh, doors that can walk out to the patio space. I am loving these huge wooden beams supporting this patio space. They look great and the black metal brackets holding it all together and the black siding with the wood trim around all of the windows. All of this just looks really good and you can't go wrong with the design choice. They went with this. Looking out into the nature in front of us, there's trees you can explore all around and then an outdoor fire pit space. They have the rocks set up for the fire and they leave some wood for you. Really nice area to come out here and relax in the shade. You can probably hear the birds in this video and you can enjoy all of the sounds whenever you stay here. Now let's walk inside through this front door right in the middle and see what it's all about. Walking inside, we are right in your main space. It is all open. This left side is your living room. The right side is your kitchen. And right in the middle is the dining table. There's also a door in the back that you can enter from the parking area as well. I forgot to mention that. But this living room on this left side is where you'll probably be hanging out a lot of the time. There is a couch, a couple chairs here, a fireplace in this corner for those cozy winter months, and that is right next to the TV as well. This is the first property at Hillside Amble that has the TV in the living room, and that's because this is the only seating area at only 850 square feet. You probably only do have one living room, and it's all right here, but it is spacious. There's a lot of uh, depth to this cabin. The interior color palette matches the surrounding nature as well. It's not stark white. It's all pretty comforting colors in here, which is really nice. Middle is your dining table. Four seats right here with a really cool chandelier above this. And you can sit here after you make a meal from your kitchen space, which is on this right side. This kitchen has this huge window right in front of the sink. So whenever you're doing whatever you're doing in the kitchen, you have great views out from this kitchen space. There's the oven on this left side, cabinet space all below, dishwasher, microwave below here as well, and then an island with some bar seats on this back side. So there's some seating in the kitchen as well. Above the kitchen island are these huge Edison light bulbs. It looks pretty cool in here, if you ask me. And then behind all of this is more storage. You have your coffee supplies here, and that's all right next to your refrigerator. These are the black cafe appliances, my favorite, and the black edition is really cool and fitting with this interior space. So that is the kitchen. You can walk all around the island, have multiple people. You can walk around the dining table or the living room and you're not crammed. This whole front wall has all of these windows to look out into the nature and it's just a cool open space in here. Now we'll walk into the first bedroom, which is off of the kitchen. We can walk through here. This is a small pantry area. There's a sliding door that can either cover the pantry or a spot that could have your washer and dryer right here. 
but right now it's just additional storage. So a really cool feature with the sliding door. Behind this is your first bathroom that is off of the bedroom. Walking in here has everything that you would need. The small vanity on this right side, the toilet, and then the tiled shower. Up against this wall, the sliding glass door makes it feel really luxurious in here. Very clean and bright bathroom. The cleanliness is like perfect. Feels like brand new cabin whenever I'm staying here, which is really nice. And then off of this is the bedroom space. Bed right up here against this wall. Lights on both sides. The windows cover this entire wall. Of course, you can close them with the blinds above if you uh, need them closed while you're sleeping. And then there's the door that leads out to the patio space, like I mentioned before. There's a closet off of this bedroom as well. In here, they got some robes, storage space. This bedroom has it all. And now we can walk to the other one, which is on the other side of the cabin, which is nice because if you're coming here with two pairs of couples, uh, you might just want to be separated. You probably don't want your bedrooms right next to each other or just family and kids. You can be pretty separated and that is nice. So we can walk past the living room and through here. And this is your other bedroom. Very similar to the last one, maybe a little bit smaller. Your bed up against this wall, the windows, and then the door that leads out to the patio space. And there is a closet off of this bedroom as well. So if I had to choose, I'd probably choose the other one. It's a little bit bigger. This one does have a bathroom as well. This bathroom though, I think I like a little bit better. Just the interior decor and the vanity option is just a little bit nicer in my opinion. The cool tile on the floor, the gold accents in here, the color palette on the walls, and the tile for the shower. I like it all. It fits really good. The sink is really beautiful as well. There is some storage here to set some stuff if you need to, even though this is a small footprint for a bathroom. It's very functional and clean. So with that, I don't know which side I'd pick. I like the bathroom better on this side, but the other side has a nicer bedroom in my opinion. I guess that equals it out. So that is everything with the Ren Cabin. 850 square feet of living space. It's pretty simple, but really well done. And it's a great spot to come. If you are looking for a smaller spot, that's a great affordable price and close to the Hucking Hills amenities. We are less than 20 minutes from all the hikes. It's all really easily accessible too bridges everywhere. The Hunking Hills area has beautiful rock formations, cave formations, waterfall, water flowing everywhere. This is the Devil's Pool. This is Old Man's Cave. It is huge. I know the camera can't quite capture how large it is, but it truly, I don't even, it's like the size of a football field, just this area right here. And there's lots of different hikes you can do. The hike to get to Old Man's Cave, you're walking all along the gorge. You're looking up at the beautiful rocks and the trees and the cliffs all on the left and right side. Feels like Bigfoot's about to pop out any minute. The booking link is down in the description below if you want to check that out. If it is booked, there are the other two cabins that have already featured here at Hillside Anvil. The Bee and the Goat. And guys, I hope you're having a great holiday season. I know it's still green in this video, but I'm hoping the snow comes soon. So anyway, I'll see you guys next week in another Airbnb tour.